What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. You know, um, I love getting back home. I love getting back home because I'm sitting here looking at the countdown clock, and right now it says 48 hours, I'm sorry, 48 days, 3 hours, 15 minutes and 50 seconds from now is the kickoff. And by the time we do our live stream tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, ooh, baby, it'll be 47, 47 days. 47 days. I wish it was 47 hours, but 47 days until the season starts. And, you know, we've been going through all of the list and things, the Madden ratings, the future ratings and everything else. I'm tired of them. I am so tired of them. But – you know how it is. It's been the off season, the off season, which is finally coming to a close. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Come Monday, the charter goes to Oxnard Wednesday. They'll be on the field and we'll be talking about practice the following Monday. I'll actually be landing in Los Angeles to go to Oxnard and, uh, they'll have their first padded practice. I'll be there on the second for that practice. I literally cannot wait to be talking about what's actually going on in the field instead of all the other bullshit that's going on. But be that as it may, be that as it may, we're going to be talking about Madden, okay? I, I, I know I'm not a big Madden fan and all that, but the Madden ratings for quarterbacks have come out. Let me get ready to uh, – let, let me show them to you here, okay? Let me change the camera angle here and let's see. Boom. Madden 23 quarterback ratings, best quarterbacks for 2022 from Tom Brady to Pat Mahomes. Well, we know, we know what's been happening with Madden. I mean, here it is. You have Micah Parsons, you know, an MVP candidate, defensive unanimous uh, rookie defensive player of the year. He's only tied for seventh. You know, as a linebacker, um, you looked at Diggs, you know, he's way down there. You look at J. Ron Curse at 20. So we know that Dak Prescott's not going to get any love. Uh, is it this, th this is the kind of thing that will piss people off, okay? Dak Prescott, let, let's, I, I haven't seen it yet. I, I just want to go through it because I'm sure it's going to be pissing me off, okay? So let's go through it here. Let's go through it here. Was there any, any doubt Tom Brady has earned the vaulted title of best quarterback, according to Madden 23? Okay, yeah, we know that. Okay. So here we go. Tom Brady, number one, Tampa Bay. Number two, Aaron freaking Rodgers. I hate that guy. Number three, Pat Mahomes. Number four, Josh Allen. Number five, Joe Burrow. I mean, I can't necessarily. I, you can't argue with that. That 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 works out pretty good. I I mean, yeah. That, I mean, how can you argue with Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Pat Mahomes, Joe Burrow? Four of the five have been to the Super Bowl. Josh Allen's the only one that hasn't. Okay, so yeah, that that that's a good list. That's a good list. Wait a minute. The fuck. They have Dak Prescott at six. What the hell's – okay, let, let me keep on going through here. Because, I mean, we, we've seen, you know, Colin Cowherd with, with with Derek Carr at 10 and Lamar Jackson and Dak Prescott not even in the top 10. Madden's got Dak Prescott at six. Then with Justin Hubert – oh, wait, 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 Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert, they got worse than Dak Prescott? I mean, he did lose – they, they did lose to the Cowboys at home. Okay. They got Lamar Jackson. They got Russell Wilt. Wait, wait, wait. Matthew, come on. You're telling me that you got Dak Prescott on Madden rated higher than Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, and Matthew Stafford? And Deshaun Watt? No. De come, come, whoa. Come on now. Come on. And Derek Carr. Well, I'll be a mother humper. Let's see. Ryan Tannehill and then Matty Ice. Wow. Okay. 
So let's see the, the throw power. Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Matthew Stafford, Baker Mayfield, Malik Willis, Zach Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson, Sam Howe. Okay. Throw accuracy. Tom Brady, number one, Joe Burrow, Aaron Rodgers, Pat Mahomes, Ryan Tannehill, Jared Goff, Derek Carr, Mac Jones. I got Dak in that one. Okay. All right. Quarterback awareness. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Joe Burrow, Pat Mahomes, Dak Prescott in 89, Matthew Stafford, Mr. Pick 6, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Ryan Tannehill, Lamar Jackson. Hmm. Well, I guess it's safe to say that people will be telling us that Dak Prescott is definitely overrated. Uh, definitely overrated. We, we know, we know, we know, we know. They will be saying that Dak Prescott is way overrated on that one. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that they actually put him at six because of the way the Dallas Cowboys have been trashed and trolled and, you know, they don't give or give us any respect. But here's the thing that I find funny. Here's the thing that I find funny because, actually, let, let me do this while we're here. Because I know what's going to happen because I've been posing this question about Kyler Murray. Because Kyler Murray... um. Kyler Murray, and let's pull up the stats real quick, that I, I haven't heard anybody talking about Kyler Murray's contract, okay? Right? You know, because we were told that the Cowboys can't win, you know, with Kyler Murray. I mean, excuse me, with Dak Prescott's contract and everything else. He's overpaid. And now we have Kyler Murray, who's been 5-10, and 8-8, eight and 9-5 eight, and five record, Completion percentage, 2021 was his best, 69.2, okay? And has yet to break the 4,000-yard mark. TDs, he had 24 this year. And I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that, you know, explain to me the difference here of why it's okay. And we'll, we'll compare Dak Prescott. We'll compare apples to apples. Twenty, just the twenty-one season. Let, let's just look at what we got last year. Kyler Murray versus Dak Prescott. And these are head-to-head -head numbers. Dak eleven to five. Kyler Murray nine to five. Now Kyler Murray, did, they, they did beat the Cowboys. They did. Kyler Murray slightly better completion percentage. That actually surprises me. Dak Prescott with more yards. 13 more TDs, a higher passer rating. Interesting. And as far as rushing, Kyler Murray had five TDs. Dak had one. So, I'm not saying that Kyler Murray didn't get deserve to get paid. Not at all. But I'm just looking for the commentary that everybody has had about quarterbacks that you can't pay them because you can't win. And this is the going into the fourth season for Kyler Murray. And um, his numbers fall way short of what Dak Prescott says. So I, I'm just looking for the answer. So if you guys happen to have the answer for me and can explain it to me, I'm looking for the answer. Just looking for it. But in the meantime, we're getting ready for the football season. I don't often watch Eagle channels, but when I do, I watch Philly 500, so I can hide. What the fuck?
<laughs> wow. That has to be the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Are you you're gonna take a quarterback in the second round? Are you kidding me? I I oh what do you just trade Carson then? Are you kidding me? You just took over a quarterback in the second round. This team is so good that they don't need to take. I, I, they don't need anything else, right? They're so good. They don't. This has to be for something. Stay thirsty, my friends, and follow the joke.